Hello everyone! Welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and I make videos a couple of times a week about books and fandomy things. So if you are new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and join us. I haven't made a video in a couple of weeks. I did take it kind of, I was planning on taking a break over Christmas anyway, but I was going to film a video in between my last video that actually ended up being my last video and Christmas, but I never got around to it and I'm not exactly sad about it because I had a really nice break. Now I'm kind of, I'm back to work tomorrow, uh, I'm starting a new job, so like I'm back in, I'm back into the game now. Over that time, obviously, my hair's different, I actually got a tattoo, which is here, but it's very peely at the minute, so I'll show you it when it looks, looks a bit nicer. So it has been Christmas, it has been the holiday season, and I got this thing, um, which is a kind of little storage trolley. It was from Hobbycraft, it was £25, and it's supposed to be used for like crafts and stuff, but to me it is a library card, so that's what we're doing. I'm also going to just chat a little bit about my reading goals for this next year, this year coming. I was really disappointed with my reading goals in 2019. I did not read as much as I could have done, I did not push myself as much when I could have done, and I think a lot of that is because of pressure. Obviously I make book videos, I talk about books online, I have my public Goodreads which anyone can see, and that stresses me out. There is a, a book to pressure, um, and this kind of you need to be reading loads and loads and loads and then I feel like I'm kind of drowning in all of these books so I don't read any of them because I just don't want to like I'm just really they scare me so this year I'm actually going to set my Goodreads challenge as like five books aim to read more than that but not have that pressure of like I'm gonna read 100 or 80 or 50 there and like stress that I'm not gonna reach it I'm just gonna set it as five because I still want to document the books I do read this year but that is my progress as of then this trolley as well is also going to represent my kind of tbr for the next couple of months i feel like having that visual representation of taking them off the trolley and then like putting them on the shelves will be good for me because while i do take them off my shelf my shelves have so many books on them that when they go back like it doesn't look as obvious when there's books missing and i put the books back on and they're all in one space whereas this they will start, they, like, you know, when this top one's empty, it will look empty and that visualisation will be there. Basically, I just don't want to pressure myself when it comes to reading anymore. I want to get started on books that have been on my shelves for ages that I haven't read. There's a couple of releases that come out this year, which I am really looking forward to, but I'm not going to, like, buy books as much as possible. I do actually have a book call coming, but that's because it has been Christmas. And I'm going to try to focus on the books that I want to get. So that being said, I thought we could organise this together. I'm going to change the candle, candle? Camera angle. That's what I was going to say, it's camera angle. So this is the top shelf. This is going to be like what I want to start to get through this month. Um, so on here, I actually have a couple of things to go on here. So a couple of things that I want to share with you guys that I think is really, really cool. I have this. This is a wind down journal and basically i'll show you like a blank page you have like the date and then you say tomorrow's goal today's achievements let it go and a happy thought for the day and then you rank your positivity score because this is right next to my bed this is going to sit just here so i can write in it every night before bed i also have a notebook this is for book reviews and book thoughts for this year or the first couple of months of the year until it's filled and the wine town journal was from boots by the way um from a company called luminos which I'm a bit obsessed with at the minute. They have like um like roll-on like things as well for like sleep and calm and stuff. Um and this is a book bucket list which I got from Paper Chase. It was £18 or just a five, so that was amazing. And this has like book review section, books I'm lending out, books I want to read, and that kind of thing. So that is also going to sit just there as well. So I have most recent book I have just finished is actually um, the first book in the Magnus Chase series by Rick Riordan. So to go next to it, I have the second and third book in that series. We have Hammer of Thought and The Ship of the Dead. The Magnus Chase series is kind of like a Percy Jackson similar kind of universe book. Um, Magnus Chase is Annabeth Chase's cousin, and, but Magnus is the son of a Norse god rather than a Greek god. If you guys are not new on here, you will know that I have been making my way slowly but surely through the Rick Riordan books. So they are next on my list to go there. Then I have the Trials of Apollo book, which I want to read afterwards. Uh, so we have the Hidden Oracle and the Dark Prophecy. 
The other two books I have are in hardback. One of them is actually working as my tripod because guess who still hasn't got another one? Uh -huh -huh. Um, and the other one is on my bookshelf because they're just like a really awkward size. Then we have the first book in the Kane Chronicles series. I need to get books two and three in the Kane Chronicles series, but for now one is on there. Then I really want to get through the Scythe series by Neil Shusterman. I have read kind of most of this but I want to reread it before I get on to the other two. So we have Thunderhead and The Toil. The Toll, Lauren. The Toll. It's annoying me that I have one in hardback and the rest in paperback but that's okay. So they are going to go there as my next kind of like list of, of ones to read. The Scythe series is about a world where no one dies but obviously overpopulation is a big problem. So scythes are people that are kind of chosen to be the killers and to kill people. Uh, and I've heard really good things about the toll, so I'm, I'm really excited to like carry on with the series. And then I want to start the Truly Devious series and read it properly, so that is going to go there. Truly Devious is about a boarding school called Illingham Academy and Kind of years ago there was a mystery where Mr Illingham's wife and daughter were taken and no one sort of knows what happened and now years and years later in the future we have Stevie who is a true crime enthusiast ends up at the academy she kind of wants to solve what happened and kind of finally put this mystery to rest and figure out what happened to Mr Illingham's wife and daughter. I love boarding school stories absolutely genuinely like I love them so much. I think in England I've spoken about this before like boarding schools are very kind of there's like a thing about them like not there's a thing like that everyone wants to go but like they're, they're very like old looking and like creepy house looking kind of there's a couple near where i live they just look like like a hogwarts kind of style i used to actually visit one because i had my swimming lessons there and it was just insane like i couldn't imagine living there wait i never went to a boarding school we did a lot of things in my school in which boarding was involved but i never went to a boarding school and lived there the whole term like you know i, I would come home most of the time it was always really fun like but this one like place once we went for a couple of weeks and it was to learn um like survival skills and kind of like it was in the woods um, which sounds really weird but it was like this big house in the woods like it overlooked woods and we had to learn like survival skills and like if we, we had to like find our way back and we'd be like separated as if we were lost and we had to like find our way back and stuff like that um, and it was just like something out of some creepy horror movie this house like it was absolutely massive and the grounds were huge and at night time it was so creepy um, and that's kind of my image of boarding schools in my head like that's all the ones I've ever been introduced to um, so I love them like I just think they're really cool like they, they they are very old because they are very kind of like big prestigious places so I love seeing them and stories about them and kind of the histories of them even histories that are fictional so that's why I'm buzzing to read that one so that is my first lot for that there is space behind so I am going to put things behind there so I bought these lovely copies of the Northern Lights series I've read these on my Kindle a really really long time ago and I don't think I've properly got onto the Amber Spyglass I don't think I ever finished it so I bought these lovely hardback editions that were released kind of because the show came out which I absolutely adored Limar Miranda as Lee Scoresby was absolutely iconic and incredible um so these are also ones I want to make my way onto very soon so these are going to go at the back the Northern Lights trilogy focuses on a girl called Lyra and she lives in a world where every human has their own demon which is kind of like the animal that's with them and children start to go missing like she kind of ends up in the middle of it and because as one of her friends gets taken and it's everything that unfolds from there. There is a pressure with social media like people don't really talk about it but even if it doesn't affect you massively like, like i said even on booktube that's like i need to get this book i need to read this book everyone's telling me about this book and like as someone that makes that content like just watching that content is diff like slightly different but like it's slightly different but making that content like i then feel like i have to be talking about that book but like i'm only one person and i've only got so much time and i have a full-time job like i need to just <laughs> It's like chill and I think this year I'm gonna allow myself that chill and allow myself to kind of just take my time and read the books on my shelf and not worry about getting loads and loads of new releases because 
otherwise there's no fun and I don't want there to not be no fun I don't want this to ever be a thing which I don't like doing um because it was sort of getting to that point and I was like I feel this intense pressure but we we're working on it and we're gonna get better and it's fine I think I'm gonna get some contemporaries we have the Serpent King and Goodbye Days both by Jeff Zentner and I also have Queer City by Peter Ackroyd these are obviously by the same author but they're different books the Summer King is about a guy called Dill. His, his father is in prison and he's kind of been shunned by the neighbourhood because of that. And he kind of, he has two friends and they're kind of like getting him through that and music and he escapes from his world in this like into this fantasy series. And then he kind of finds out there's this like dark secret to his family and his past and it's kind of everything that involves from there. Then we have Goodbye Days by Jeff Sentner which focuses on Carver and he is waiting for his friends to come and pick him up. He sends a text message and then there is a car accident and all three of his friends are dead. And then one of his friends, Blake, his grandmother asks Carver to kind of remember him with a goodbye day that he has for him. Um, and it's kind of everything from there and kind of dealing with that grief and everything that comes from that. These two have been on my shelf for so long like I just need to get around and finally read them so I'm gonna put them at the back because they're slightly less heavy than all the series that I've got like I want to kind of like stagger my series of this year then Queer City is kind of a non-fiction book exploring gay London from kind of all the way back to the Roman times to now and how things have evolved and everything that's kind of developed and grown I've wanted to read this for absolutely ages I kept seeing it in the um a small WH Smith in the tube station and I just never got it. Where am I get it from? I think Foils on South Bank. But I've seen it in loads of shops, but I'm really, really excited to finally get into it. And then we have Everything Begins and Ends at the Kentucky Club by Benjamin Ellery Sands, which is a book I actually got for Christmas. And this is a bunch of short stories about the Kentucky Club. And I'm excited to read more of uh, Benjamin's books. If you guys know, he wrote my all time favorite book, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. So that is going to also sit just at the back there. And that is level one complete okay so level two i don't have as many i have a couple of hardbacks that i want for this one um so some more contemporaries which i want to get through we have dear martin and tyler johnson was here these books are very similar to the hate you give they focus on kind of the whole black lives matter movement and crime and police crime in america and i have emergency contact by mary hk Troy, and this focuses on penny and sam who kind of met and now they sort of only communicate via text and it's kind of what's going to happen when they then like meet in person and how their relationship develops i don't mean to be dramatic when i say i haven't actually read a straight love story in months then we have Orpheus Girl by Brian Rebel Henry and this book focuses on Rhea who is in love with her best friend Sarah. When the two of them are outed they are sent to Friendly Savers which is essentially a conversion camp to try and fix them. This is kind of like a version of the Orpheus myth but exploring kind of the horrors and what conversion therapy is like. It terrifies me that conversion therapy is still a thing and that people still are sent to these places and apparently this is a fantastic exploration and kind of shows those horrors then we have ninth house by lee bardugo and this focuses is on alex stern who kind of her life was sort of going but then she gets kind of this full ride to yale because she has these powers that the other people there don't have and want to be able to have and she can do it without the kind of things they the other people would have to put in place so i reading this and i didn't like love it as much as the Bardugo's other books but i genuinely just don't think i was in the right frame of mind when i started it that's trying again. I'm gonna put that sort of at the back. Then we also have The Wicked King and The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. They are fantasy books. They are all about Faye and kind of two human girls whose older sister is actually half Faye but they didn't know until one day their parents are killed and they are taken to the land of fairy and they kind of want to prove themselves that they can do what the Fae think that they can't do because they're human. Again, I started them. I didn't absolutely love it. I haven't read The Wicked King. There is a third book as well in the series now queen of nothing so finally want to get onto them and read them same with the children of blood and bone and children of virtue and vengeance i've read this one but i want to reread it before i go on to this one so this is also going there with my with my little fantasy list and i think i'm actually gonna do some juggling for these i loved children of blood and bone it was one of my favorite books of last year um i thought was it last year i read it it must have been 
or was it 2017? It might have been 2017. I literally, no, 2018. It might have been 2018. I literally don't even know what happens at certain times anymore. Like I literally don't know what, what year I'm in and what day I'm in. Like it is ridiculous that it's a new series. Like it's a new series. A new decade, it's stupid. And then I have Marie Brennan, Midnight Never Come and In Ashes Lie, which I've been meaning to read for literally bloody years. And uh, these books focus on underneath Queen Elizabeth, like the first court is the Fae court. And I love the Fae, it's like one of my favorite fictional like things to read about. My book that I am still writing. Hmm, or one of them. I'm, I'm in the middle of a writing a contemporary one, in the middle of writing a fantasy one. It is Faye that is the, the main focus. Um, then I also have Rather Weird by Andrew Caddlecott, another one I've been meaning to read for so bloody long, so I'm going to put that there as well. And then I have a little hole which I will show you where I can put coffee cup, uh, which I've actually put my new coffee cup in there. Um, and at the back I have this little pot from when I went to see Wicked on Broadway, um, and it has my bookmarks in it and like my little book like dude um and like a book holder and all of that so i'll pop that at the back as well so i have this which is my like book like buddy thing that i put books in when i take them out. and also i got a new kindle for christmas i got the kindle oasis which i will be doing a full review so i will sit that uh, in my little bookcase to protect it when I'm not reading from it but I've been trying to read from that every night and the charger as well. So down at the bottom, so I'll show you that, like just behind there, my Kindle, my little bookmarks um, and then also space for a cup so when I'm reading, because usually I read in my bed, um, I will have it there. This is my new travel cup, it's got dinosaurs on it. And then I have Prior of the Orange Tree which I finally need to get onto and then I have a Game of Thrones, which I told myself I was never actually going to read, um, but I am now. There's so many, they scare me. My friend Sarah's probably watching this like, but just read them because they're so good. They terrify me, but this is the year I'm finally going to do it and I've told myself I'm going to do it. Also, at the back, so we have um, The Hobbit and then these three are the Lord of the Rings books. I have read The Hobbit and the first Lord of the Rings. I need to read them all because I didn't, but I want to reread them because it was a while ago that I read the first ones. So I'm going to read these two. I'm going to read them all again and start them again. And then these books here are the Poison Study series by Maria V. Schneider. I was, this is the sixth book in the series. Uh, that one must be the first one. I got these for Christmas in like 2017 and I was like, yeah, I'm going to start my year and read them. And, and guess what? I did it! So I need to get on to that as well. But yeah. So yeah, that is my library cart and my immediate TBR for this year. I'm hoping that this is kind of like by May time and then I can do an update and a re kind of jig for then the books that I want to read in May. Obviously I like and onwards obviously I have my Kindle um which I am reading a book on at the minute and there will be books like Cassandra Clare's books that I will want to read but I love how this looks. I for, I think for £25 it's really really cool, it's really big, it has lots of space and it's good for me to kind of because like I said I, I chill in here and this is where I sit usually to read so I'm really happy with this. I um, I think it's worth the money and I'm excited to finally start making my way through my book court cart and finally reading these books. I just think that it's like genuinely a really good thing for me because I love booktube and I love making videos and talking about books with you guys but it was getting to the point where I was like I feel like I need to be reading this 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 and this and I haven't read this yet and oh my god and it was like it was a stress and it is a stress and it sounds really silly because it's something I'm supposed to do for fun I don't want it to stress me out I don't want to have that pressure and feel like I have to do certain things and I know I actually don't but the pressure is just there and it always feels like it's there. The goal is to read these books, get through them, they've been on my shelves for ages, it's finally time for me to read them and yeah that is the plan for like May time maybe. There's 47 books on there so that's like maybe if I can hit the, the middle of the year that would be fabulous. 
thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed i'd love to know your reading goals and reading targets and like immediate tbr for 2020 which sounds so futuristic to say um like i said if you guys are new here then i make videos a couple of times a week about books and fandom things so if you want to stick around and join us then you can do that and as usual all the links to my other social medias in the description down below thank you guys for watching i hope we're doing really 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 well and i will see you next time goodbye Thank you.